Oi, boys, welcome back, welcome back to another episode, episode 2 in our Bunny's Career Mode series, and as you can see, boys, a few of you are asking last episode, Hey, where's Tavita Totola? Well, our boy is sitting in med bay, he's picked up an injury in one of the preseason games, and also we have another omission, this from the previous match, but before we get to that, let's go ahead and simulate round 2, and as you can see, we pick up the dub against the Manly Warringah Sea Eagles, Josh Mansour picking up man of the match. As you just saw, we got a couple of obstacles to deal with this match. Cody Walker suspended for three weeks for a high tackle in round one. And after that simulation, Tom Burgess is out for a pretty lengthy stint as well. 26 days for Totola and 38 for Burgess. Man, our front row is in shambles. As always, shout out to the gang if you're watching us right now. Be sure to hit up that comment section with a hash, tag, odd squad. Or let's see some goats in the comments for old man Benji. Can he step up to the plate and fill Cody Walker's shoes. I've also brought in Brayden Burns for a little bit of pace coming off the bench and also joining Jai Arrow in the front row, Liam Knight. If you missed it, I didn't mention it, but earlier you would have seen Jacob Host is coming onto the bench as well. We already had a uh, a heavy bench as is before the injury, so Hame Sele will be playing in the front row along with Nichols, Jacob Host anywhere in the back row and also Brayden Burns for the back row. Could throw Burns anywhere really, that pace off the bench late in the half very valuable as the Knights throw a forward pass back of the scrum Mitchell links up with Graham Graham to Marshall oh the ankle tap who was that who's their 13 Barnett I thought for sure would be crossing the white line with Marshall it'll be Cameron Murray though on the next play it opens up in the middle wasn't too sure where I'd play him this season obviously it was either the second row or lock with uh with Jai Arrow coming into the fold I think out of the two, uh, Cameron Murray is definitely more consistent in the 13. Third tackle. Looking for some big meters from our uh, makeshift middle. Murray looking for a run. And he runs into the shoulder of either David Clemmer or Saifidi, I think there was. What a hit on Cameron Murray. It might have been Barnett, to be honest. As Kurtman in the centers gets around the first initial defender. 12 out, the Knights on the attack. Looking to spread it to the right. Heim or Hunt. Interested to see if that young winger that they signed from overseas will get a run this season. The Knights. I actually think his name is Young. Dominic Young or Youngs, if I remember correctly. But yeah, he's a young dude. Plenty of talk about him too. He's about 6'4", 6'5", outside back. Most of the English imports, the outside backs, don't really make it in the NRL. So I'll be interested to see how he'll handle the workload or what's required of a modern day NRL outside back. As we, we actually read this play. This is BS, man. Look at this. Getting ready to pick it up. A little bit of clipping there. Apparently, Jake Clifford has the ability to phase through humans as he does get to the ball first. Back with the Noits in position. Like how I said that, the Noits. Yeah, I'll stop. Bit of a tug of war battle going on here. Last 20 or so minutes being played within the 40s. As we wrap them up just outside our 40. Fifth and last, right down the throat of Alex Johnston. As we crab across here, a little bit of cheese. I'm not gonna lie, but it does open up. Kalen Ponga catches the almighty fend. Alex Johnston will race away for the second try of the match. Look at the time too. Perfect with a minute left in the half. It was either them or us, you know what I'm saying? One of us had to break. Thankfully, it was the Knights. That was, a, that was actually a hectic return. Alex Johnston should definitely take a bow for that one as we convert and go up by six. Half time, half time, we head into the break. Leading the Knights 12 points to six in their own backyard. Bit of a quiet one from Uncle Benji so far. Let's take a gander at these stats right here. Super tight for position, completions, even an error each. Cookie looking for a runner. Finds Braden Burns. Unable to break the line on that occasion. 
as Reynolds links up with Benji almost through that gap. First tackle. Mansour, that's a helpful reset. We should be able to make it down to the other end. As we send it to host, he links up with Burns. That's a beautiful play between the two bench players. Third, Reynolds. Out to Jaden Sword. Didn't have to pass it, but he did. Gagai still managed to sneak through the line. As we send it to Cook, he finds Burns back to Cook. That looked pretty clean. I did not want to give it to Burns. I wanted to send it down the line. Fifth and last. Benji drops it on the toe, regathers. Tries to get a pass away, but it's intercepted. Definitely need to back ourselves more with Benji. Try and wind that clock back. It's still in him. We saw it in the nines. Third tackle. Again, the game is still very close as they give away possession once again. Another forward pass from the Knights. Shooting themselves in the foot here. This time it was Big Dave. Dave Clemmer. 30 to go. Burns. Back of the scrum. Latrell links off Marshall. Marshall throws a dummy. Unable to get the pass away after beating a defender. First, back to Hame Sele. Looking for some uh, meters through the middle. Not finding any. As we go to Marshall, again, just passing way too early. Not exactly hitting who I'm trying to hit with Benji as we send it back to Marshall. This time it's a beautiful short and flat ball to Campbell Graham, who will score in the corner for our third try of the game. I mean, we had so many opportunities here. It was just a matter of time before we found the line. A little bit of a toughie here from out wide for Adam Reynolds, but he ices it. We are officially inside the final 20 minutes. That's a bad miss from Dry Arrow in the middle. As Barnett makes bulk meters. Fifth and last, now they're in a decent position to put an attacking kick in. And it will be Clifford. He sends it to the skies, gets batted back. And of course, Kalen Ponger is back there to scoop up the loose ball. He's had a pretty quiet match. Surprisingly, we've contained him. As he looks to convert, Ponga usually carves us up whenever we play the Knights or even Queensland during these playthroughs. P. Saulo. Name looks and sounds familiar, but I'm not too sure. As they send it to Barnett. Another line break for Barnett, looking to spread it out wide. Look at the play here from the Newcastle Knights. All right, settle down, Highmore Hunt. Since when? The Knights are playing like a completely different team in the 65th minute. As Saulo gets wrapped up by two. Short ball, Dave Clemmer running onto it. It's always nervous when those high rated forwards are running onto the ball. Connor Watson looking to catch us off guard around the ruck. Fifth and last. And we give a penalty away, not intentionally. Liam Knight a little too eager. They will take the two. Actually, not a bad result. That was a, a low key kind of clutch play there by the AI. I switched just in time to get pinged for being offside as Dave Clemmer fends off one. We just need to swarm the big dog. As again, Connor Watson, the man's got ants in his pants around the ruck. And we will give a penalty away this time. Hoping they take the two and there you have it. They will take the two. Now we just need to defend for our lives in this last five minutes. And there you have it. We can finally breathe. <laughs> full time, full time here at McDonald Jones Stadium. We barely get past the Knights who, man, they really flipped the switch in like the 65th minute, 60th minute. 
actually playing with a little bit of desperation in them which is <laughs> it's great to see from the ai but yeah boys bit of a scrappy win but a win's a win connor watson gets man of the match as always if you enjoyed that and would like to see more rugby league life 4 content or more content in general be sure to run it straight at that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new thank you for tuning in and I'll see you. you, you, you. Cops got me on a pending case, cuz so I better watch what I say. Hey, later. Ay. Max season shock, strictly urchins up in my block. I'm Ooh. from that city where we hit P and R's and B and H Ay. to get dosh. Trap that bag, that and then slang it. Distribute that to the spot. Kick down doors, lad. If I get the word that them ops.